So police tell us that a human trafficking victim here in Baton Rouge made a brave decision to call for help. Now the man she claims forced her and another woman into prostitution is behind bars. And police say the suspect is from Venezuela. Miranda Thomas is here to explain. Miranda. Albert Machado told police he was contacted by an unknown friend for job trafficking victims. Police say each victim would be forced to have sex with three to four people a day. Now he faces two counts of human trafficking. Deep within the walls of an apartment complex on Harold's Ferry Road in Baton Rouge lies the disturbing details of a human trafficking crime. East Baton Rouge deputies say this man, 23-year-old Albert Machado, is accused of making two women have sex with different men for money. According to a report, the investigation began when one of the women called police. When deputies arrived at the room, they say they found condoms, stacks of money, multiple cell phones, and a book ledger with names of people paying for sex. People kind of turned a blind eye and think, oh, it's it's okay, but it's it's not. And these victims are helpless and they're vulnerable. Kelly Tuwer, executive um, director at Mednoia Manor, works to educate people on the signs of human trafficking and how victims can escape. These victims are vulnerable and so they feel trapped in situations that they can't get out of. Not necessarily held against their will, but more coerced and threatened, and they feel like they can't get out of these situations. In this case, the victims told police they were being prostituted to pay a debt. Tuwer says it's something that happens more often than people may realize. Or you owe money on a bill, and it eats at your stomach that you feel like you owe something and you think there's an end to owing something. Um, but in this case, there's typically not an end. You can sell these victims over and over again and that's um, what keeps this industry unfortunately alive. She says instances like this could be prevented if more people would report questionable activities or simply speak up. You don't have to know and a lot of people think, oh, I, it was just a weird, it seemed weird, but you never know when something that seems off or seems weird is something that's wrong. Tawara says that any suspicion or detail can add to a victim being saved. Anyone with information should contact law enforcement or the human trafficking hotline. That number is on the bottom of your screen. Miranda, thank you. Seven suspects, including three minors, are